this is Minet and I am back with a step-by-step -step process video of how I make my fabric journals and um, so yeah let's just head straight into it because this might be a video that goes all over the place but I don't want it to be too long so right um, as in my previous video this is how far I've gotten with my uh, journal so far it's just the cover and like I said before all you need to do is get a box like this or a similar sized one um, you can cut it open and there you have your cover already and now all you do is you cut out exactly the shape or the size of the book you want and I did enforce it again with um, an extra piece of cardboard there you can see a little bit of that and then I just used PVA glue with a brush and I PVA'd it together and it does leave the streaks here but I started not uh, mining it as much anymore because it might just go with that um, scraggly type of look I'm wanting now my neighbors heard I was making arts and crafty type of stuff and she came over with um, a bear box <laughs> this New Zealand bear I don't know if you can see it Waka Changi I don't even know how to say that but anyway and um, I just clipped that out so yes I am using their image for my for my personal journal here and um, hopefully it will fit I might have to cut that off but any who's let's get to it so first of all I will take glue and I will glue all around here and this, oops, this glue hole isn't that big so I have to use my muscles Ugh. Oops. to get this glue working. Let's just go ahead and spread this across. The more you use the better. Great, always wash your brushes after using glue on them, otherwise they get hard and sticky and you can't use them again. Now around about this time you'd want to make what is called the spine binding template. Now how I do this is I measure the width and the length of the spine starting at the bend. So that is 5 centimeters by 17 uh 17.7 7 so i'll quickly measure out 17 by 5. can you want to see what i'm doing here where am i why is this so difficult oh you turn it around modern technology there you go five Right, around about this time, you're going to want to choose how many signatures you'd like to have in your uh, journal. And the only thing that signatures are is the amount of little booklets you'll be attaching to the spine, which will um, make up your book then. And I decide to have probably four, four signatures with three different um, connecting points. So if I divide four the spinal template into four lines with three dots along each line that will tell me exactly where to thread my uh, signatures into place when I put it on the um, on the spine of the book so let's quickly do that right now I'm sorry I didn't get that on camera I thought I was recording when I paused and paused when I was recording so that obviously will not help us much but here you see the final template so as you can see there's four columns and four lines and wherever they intersect is where the dot will be that we will um, drill or push into the back of the spine now this one's a bit bigger than this one but it gives you the idea and if we put it on the actual back here you can see that it'll fit perfectly right but now we need to go to making the pages I guess it'll just have to be an A5 size and that'll be fine it just means the cover will overlap the actual book uh, pages in the middle but that's fine so then as you would with anything else you can just uh, measure it off 
and how I do this for a really quick way is just to easily rip it like that and there I have my first page and I will you now use this one as a template to do all the other ones and then we can go and we can go paint it with some coffee or stain it with some tea it is completely up to you how many pages you want in your journal if you use a lot of washi tapes and you do quite a bit of different creative things in your journal like you would um, like if you use stickers and cutouts and uh, make collages and things it means your pages will thicken up the book like over here we can see how um, it goes from thick to small but as soon as I start using this that's all gonna thicken up the pages and it'll end up probably looking something like like that you get the picture so if you are someone that will be wanting to use a lot of adding a lot of things to your journal you can always put in less paper and that'll just give it a bit more space for you to work with otherwise you can just if you are more of a writing sword then um, or drawing or anything that will not thicken up the papers you can use as many as you want for this one I believe I used uh, 10 double pages per signature here so that's 10 there, 10 there, 10 there, 10 there, which is up to 40 pages, which when you double it, it's 80 pages in total. So for this one, it's a bit thicker. I don't really um, add a lot of things. I use a lot of washi tapes, but that's about it. So I'll probably, probably go for 12 pages per signature or something like that. We'll see. Right, so I have now gone and completed just ripping and putting together my different uh, signatures. This is how the book will look. I added uh, three different coloured pages um, and I will now go and paint them or dip them in a tea. So let's go. Right, so here I have all my different uh, pages that I have gone and coffee stained. And I used coffee stain, uh, I painted it with coffee for the bit of the darker ones. And some of the lighter ones I used tea staining. And then, as I said before, I went and watercolored some of these pages. Now, I'm not sure if you can actually see the individual colors there so I um, painted that and I'll be putting that in between these coffee stained papers and it would look or it will look absolutely amazing so now I'll go ahead and divide all of these different papers into four signatures of 12 pages which will turn into 24 individual leaflets per page so we'll go ahead and do that now So there I have one of my signatures uh, all set and what I've seen people do and it is actually a really good trick is to actually keep your signatures together by using bobby pins, uh, paper clips or anything that will just bind it together and keep it while you work with it so the pages don't start shuffling around. Right and then the final one you want to make sure that they're um, pretty nicely packed. I mean, because it's a junk journal, they don't have to be absolutely 100% correct in how it's spaced and whatnot, but it will actually make the binding process a lot easier if it's nice and compacted like that. So there's my first signature of 12 pages. Okay guys, for the next step, I have just decided to go ahead and get, instead of the book I'm working on to just get a plain piece of cardboard just to show you guys easier with less things going on the binding process so I will do it on this uh, blank cardboard piece that is exactly the same size as the book that I'm working on at the moment but it's just easier to show you on blank pieces of paper and cardboard exactly the process of binding it now for this type of binding you will need the template we made before the one that fits perfectly on the back of the book just like that 
we will need our signatures all lined up and ready to go. There's just two papers in here that's as we clipped the others. They are clipped together as well just to keep them together when we do the binding process. Again, it's just a blank pieces of paper just so you guys can see a bit better. And then we will need a thread and needle. I'm using embroidery thread just because it is a bit stronger. So I'm using that for my threading process and also a way or something that you can use to punch holes. Now some of you would know that this is a comedone extractor and I decided to use that because it's a perfect uh, size a needle just to quickly make those holes and I did clean it <laughs> so we'll be using that just to punch the holes. Now we will take the template we made and we need to use this to pre-punch holes that we will be threading our needle and thread through. And the reason we pre-punch the holes is so that we've got a template to work on actually on the book itself and that it's easier for the needle to penetrate through the covers. So we're just going to go ahead and wherever the lines intercede each other or intercept, we will be making those holes. As you can see, the pre-made holes here are already so I'm going to go and just punch those holes. Easy to do on a book that doesn't have many layers on its spine. Make sure you don't stab your fingers on the other side. It's not nice. There we go. So now we can see, now we can see exactly where we are wanting to thread our holes. And I've got four signatures and four lines of holes. So the first signature is going to end up in there and we're going to close it and thread it. And that's how the first signature is going to get um, secured in there. So before we need to thread our signatures, we need to do exactly the same hole punching action on our signature. And how we do this is we just simply fold this template so it can fit in that groove of the actual paper. So we get it in the actual bend and we make sure it lines up and we just go ahead and, oh, that one goes through the hole already, and make the holes on the pieces of paper that's bound together. So now you can see there's four holes that line up exactly with the four holes on the first signature. I'm very quickly going to show you guys, just draw you guys the process of how we're going to weave it through. So just pretend this is the back cover of the book and there's four holes. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to enter with the needle and thread and let's just say this is the page that we're binding together. We're going to enter the needle and thread from the inside through the back of the second hole. Then we're going to go all the way to the outer side, thread in again, all the way to the thread out and back in. So you're basically just making a circle thread and then these two get connected. You just take it and you bind it in the middle. So I, I can show you guys with arrows how we're going to do this. And it may seem a bit uh, difficult to do. It's really not if you just get this idea of binding a circle in and out through your um, spine. So now that that you can see that we go in, uh, just to show you guys quickly, we go in the second hole, we pull it through and we keep a little less lassy lassy thing here so we can bind it together with the other one. Then just like the paper shows, we're going to go in and back through the end one there. So it is this end one here. I'm just going to look for it. There we go, the end one here. 
done and then following that pattern we're going to go down to the end here and then the final thing is to go through the end back to the middle one the last one we have not done yet the two insides and now what will happen is there will be as shown here there will be the two thingies the two threads here and we will then just connect them together now I'm going to show you again with the actual insert or the signature following that pattern we go in the second to last there and you do the same hole as it's lined up thanks to that template you used bam first one done following that thing into the last or the first one here and I just have to do this off camera so I can actually see there we go and following all the way around to the end one And we finish off by pushing it through the last one that we have not yet pushed through exactly how we push through that side we push it through and now all we do is we knot it here in the middle I'll quickly do that make sure it's taut make sure you uh, pull it nice and tight the tighter it's pulled the more secure your insert or your signature will stick to the page it's also pretty important to make a tight knot close to the page here and I just do it like that if you don't have anyone to help you you do get better at it there we go and you just use your two hands and there's your knot and I always double knot it and then usually I triple knot it <laughs> and then we're going to use the whoops the scissors and there you go there is your first insert all done you can take these off because it's now securely bound together there you have your first insert it's really not that difficult guys I'm sure you guys will get it um, on the first try if not the first the second if we just followed this in through the middle end middle to the front all the way to the back end and through the second one and then you bind them together so that is what I have gone and done with all four my signatures after I've put them all together I then just off camera I'm sorry I didn't do this on camera I just glued nothing too exciting I just glued this um, picture to it and there we have our completed journal I also went and just glued a piece of paper over the top here just to make that look a bit more uh, tidy up around the insides there yeah go oh sorry about that <laughs> ran out of paper so there you guys have it um, from start to finish um, I hope this little diagram will help you guys a little bit in binding those things and all you do now after you bound the first one you do the exact same thing with just the next row along and bind it nice and tight and then yeah there you go you've got your signatures all connected to your book and your cover is nice and pretty and you can now go ahead and journal all the different pages so yeah um thanks for this took me quite a while to make i'm sorry i uh, didn't do this one on camera for you guys like i did this one i just thought it would be easier to see the holes and everything and um so yeah uh, if you guys like it 
like this video if it was helpful at all to you this little diagram let me know um so yeah and yeah subscribe if you do like my videos and i'll see you next time with the next one bye bye